Recently, I stumbled upon a meme on my computer while I was surfing on Google Chrome. And while looking at that, I thought it was quite hilarious. But on the other hand, I knew there was something up with it. In this video, I'm going to be comparing Google Chrome along with Microsoft Edge to see which one is actually eating more RAM in the background. And we are going to be doing a thorough test with it. Stick back to this video and if you're new to my channel, subscribe if you haven't already. And without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. So I quickly went ahead and opened both of these browsers on half screens so that we can have a side by side comparison of Google Chrome with Microsoft Edge. And then I launched a task manager to see how much resources are being dragged by these two browsers. So at this moment, they both are sitting idle on my laptop without having any single page opened. And there is a significant amount of difference in the memory that you can see. Google Chrome is being using 350 megabytes of my memory of my laptop, whereas Microsoft Edge in idle space is only utilizing around 80 megabytes. So that's huge and it's also spiking. The Google Chrome is still spiking above. So that's for the idle state. Now let's quickly open Google on both of these browsers to see what the difference would be in their consumption of memory. So I'm quickly going to open Google on Google Chrome here and going to do the same on Microsoft Edge. We both have Google Pages open in front of us. And now let's check in Task Manager what is the difference in the memory usage of these two browsers. So Google Chrome is now utilizing around 370, 380 megabytes of my memory. Whereas Microsoft Edge is only utilizing still 80 megabytes. So you can see the difference where it's going right here. And there isn't a fraction difference. It's a huge difference if you ask me. It's almost three times as much difference between them. And now let's go ahead and play a video on YouTube to see what the difference would be. Or maybe we should do one thing. We should first open YouTube and see how much difference would that make in the RAM consumption of both of these browsers. And then let's just play a video, same video on both of them in same resolution to check how much difference would that make in the RAM consumption. All right. So we both have similar pages of YouTube open on both of these browsers and now let's check how much RAM consumption is being used by both of these browsers side by side. Quickly gonna minimize that and now let's see. Okay, so Google Chrome at this point of time is utilizing 530 megabytes approximately of my RAM. Whereas Microsoft Edge is still almost half. So 260 megabytes of RAM is being consumed by Microsoft Edge. Now let's go ahead and play a single video on both of these browsers in the same video quality and let's see how much difference would that make in the RAM consumption of both of them. Quickly gonna open this video and gonna open same video on this browser. Gonna increase the resolution to the maximum 1080p 50fps. Both are buffering and let's begin. All right. So now both the browsers are playing same videos on same resolution, almost same playtime. And there is a difference in the RAM consumption of both of these browsers too. Google Chrome is utilizing 700 megabytes approximately of RAM, whereas Microsoft Edge is only utilizing around 400. So the difference of twice is now getting a bit reduced, but still there is a considerable amount of difference in between both of them. Whereas the GPU usage is almost the same and the CPU usage is almost the same too. So basically there is something going on with the memory that's happening there. And that reminds me of all those memes that are being made for Google Chrome of eating too much RAM. Seems like they have a point here, but we are not done yet. We are going to still check some other things to verify this completely. Now one last thing that I'm going to be doing in both of these browsers is to run internet speed test and see how much difference would the reading be and how much CPU utilization would that make them raise. So first we go ahead and do it on Google Chrome and see how much maximum the memory would increase. So the memory is somewhat around 755 to 750 megabytes is being consumed by this browser here. Now let me quickly go ahead and run the same test on Microsoft Edge and see how much difference of download and upload speed would we get as well as how much difference in the consumption would we be getting. So 
So I think if we take average of both of these, we would be landing somewhere around 500. So that was the maximum utilization of memory on Microsoft Edge. So what did we learn from this? We saw that in all these scenarios, Google Chrome always had higher RAM consumption than Microsoft Edge. And at times the difference was almost as good as three times. So if you're someone who has low RAM on your laptop or on your computer, it would be really nice if you could switch to some browser which is just as good as Microsoft Edge optimized and low on RAM usage. But if you still have a lot of RAM like 16 gigabytes, 32 gigabytes, 48, 256, I don't know. Then yeah, if you don't really care about it, still go ahead and then download and use Chrome as you were already using. For me, I'm definitely going to be switching up to Microsoft Edge after this video. With this, I will end today's video and I hope you really enjoyed watching this. If you learned something new, click that like button to appreciate my efforts. And if you want to support my work, click on subscribe and join the family. That was all for this video and I'll be catching you with another video next week. Till then, take care and peace.